Hi folks, this is your new Puma 295 BHSS. As you can see, it's a really nice unit. You have a really nice awning you can sit under that can be controlled on the interior by the control panel, which I'll show you in a minute. This is your fresh water fill. Basically, if you're going to a remote location, you can fill that up and you have a water pump on the inside of the unit that can supply the water that you need. These here are your furnace, furnace vents. I do recommend buying mud dauber screens to cover those. That way insects can't get in there. It's a good investment. Here's your hot water heater. Uh, basically to get this thing going, you're gonna wanna turn your propane on at the front. Make sure that you completely fill it with water. Put your plug in first, obviously. And then you're gonna wanna bleed out the water just like that um, to get any of the air out of the line. Uh, basically once that's, you know, the water's coming out of the spigot, you're okay to fire up the propane or the electric side of it, which will, you'll have buttons uh, over by the control panel, which I'll show you in a minute. Like I said though, make sure that you got this thing completely filled with water before you kick it on. Uh, it, can, it can burn out the electric element in here and you don't want to do that. This is your black, black tank flush area. You have this nice little area in the back with an additional refrigerator, microwave, outside grill, and a sink. To the rear of the unit, you got a nice spare tire with a cover, a ladder to get up top. I do recommend doing that about every three to six months. Check your lap sealant. <clears throat> this is for your power. It's a 50 amp connection. Here's your sewer, your sewer uh, where you, you hook up your sewer hoses. Like I said, you can uh, monitor the status of them tanks on the interior of the unit, which I'll show you in a minute. And then you're gonna pull the appropriate valve depending on what tank is full. Nice little storage area. Here's your city water connection. This is how you're gonna end up filling up your hot water tank and all that stuff for your hot water heater. Nice outside shower. <clears throat> to the left of that is where your propane tanks are located. One on each side. They're 20 pound tanks and they're full and ready to go. To the front of the unit. This is where your docking lights are located and your, your landing legs, these here. Your battery is in this little compartment here as well as your, your jacks, your power cord, your 30 amp adapter and your sewer hose. Said, this is also on the opposite side. This is where your other propane tank is located. So like I said, there's two of them. Now we're gonna go in. As you can see right off the bat, you have a fire extinguisher located near the door. Here's your control panel. Uh, you can control all your slides your awning, here's your switch for your water pump like I told you before, and your hot water heater. You also have some different lights that you can uh, control at this panel, as well as check the status of your battery, your fresh water tank, and then your sewage tanks. You have a really nice stereo system, a nice RCA TV, fireplace,
beautiful couch. Just above the couch you have some nice little storage areas. Here's your table. Like I said, you got some uh, nice little storage areas right there by that. Here's your carbon monoxide detector. It's located on the little island that your sink is on. Brand new microwave. Refrigerator. Refrigerator is propane and electric. Uh, basically, I want to quick show you how to get your stove going. So basically, it's just like at home. You're going to put it on high. You know, depending on what burner you want to light. And then you have this igniter knob that does it all itself. Um, this is also how you're going to end up firing up the inside as well. You're going to want to put it in the flame position and hold it. You want to allow the thermal coupler in there to warm up before you, you turn your igniter knob takes a minute for the gas to kind of get in the line so keep that in mind to the rear of the unit here's your furnace and your air conditioning control bathroom um, you have a vent in here there, it's also powered by the same switch um, you are going to manually have to open that, but you also have the button there to where you can control it there or at the switch. Nice shower. There's your toilet. Uh, here's your fuse box. It's located just as you're coming out the door of the bathroom and also by the other door to the rear of the unit. Um, you're going to want to check these every now and then. Obviously, if something doesn't work, most likely it's a fuse. You'll get a red light that will indicate that that fuse needs to be changed out. So keep that in mind if something doesn't end up working right away. Here's the rear of the unit. You have a nice little bunk and a couch. You have little things here that uh, you can plug your cell phone or a tablet into to charge it. The bunk. Really cool little bunk set up here. Got a storage area, a ladder to get up there. Kids also got a little uh, outlet to plug in their cell phone or um, tablets. Now to the front here, to the master bedroom part. As you can see, really beautiful. You got a vent in here, that way you can open it up. You know, get it to the appropriate temperature that you like. Uh, other than that, like I said, this is just a quick overview of your new unit. Congratulations on your purchase. And if you have any other questions, you can contact us here at All Seasons RV or you can refer to YouTube. There's lots of videos on there that uh, can help you out. But don't hesitate to call. Once again, congratulations and be safe.